Derek, uh, when the team started out 3-0-2, you said, let's, you know, let's put the brakes on a little bit. Thinking about it, last night's game, is that the other end of the spectrum? Let's not press the panic button either. We're just a team that's in yeah. the development stage. I think after those first eight minutes, that, that was an extreme on the other end. Um, w you know, the message last night is we are not a good enough team, which I kind of hinted towards with those numbers in our first five games, to take lapses in our game, um, to mismanage the puck. Uh, we had 24 turnovers, I believe, um, in the first period last night. In those first five games, we averaged about 28 the entire game. Our win versus Montreal, we had 23 turnovers the entire game. The win against Anaheim, we had 20 turnovers the entire game. And we had 23 in the first period. And that's just maybe a little lackadaisical in our play. Um, maybe it lacked a little urgency. I don't know if we got that first seven, eight minutes. It felt a little bit of a continuation of Anaheim the other night. I don't know if our guys felt it would be easy or they just took the gas off a little bit. And we're just, we're not good enough to do that. We have to be on all the time to be competitive in this league. And, but the good thing is we've shown we can be. So th this is a pretty exciting challenge in that, you know, Boston is probably the, you know, I, 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 won't, I don't want to put their best team in the league right now. They're playing as one of the top teams in the league right now, their, their play. So this will be a really good opportunity for us to respond from a performance like that and see where we're at against a really good team on the road. Changing your lines up a bit, and is Oscar? Yeah, Oscar be a day to day, so I don't know if we'll have him. He's been dealing with something upper body, and obviously, it was not himself last night. Um, I know I love the competitiveness in him, trying to fight through it. But you know, if I had that over again, uh, we may have not played him because um, he just he obviously was not himself last night. Couldn't get any battles. Uh, just wasn't himself. So. Um, yeah, just again, we're still working through some things and trying to get some different guys going or some some guys that might be able to complement each other. So yeah, we're we're this I think that we're gonna be in this blender look for a while. What are you seeing with Lucas or not seeing? Lucas lacking some detail in his game, which is which is understandable of a young player. He's so competitive. Um, now he's channeling it incorrectly. He's channeling it. He's pressing now. Um, you know, and it's typical of most players, let alone young players. It's not going in for him offensively. I think he believes he needs to help the team with offense. Now it's looping. Now it's cheating. Now it's not taking care of the wall. And now he's being stuck in his D zone instead of doing the things he can do in the offensive zone. So not concerned at all. Typical of a young player pressing a little bit. Uh, now it's our job with him to get him playing the right way. Yeah, it's tough for those young guys who kind of identify themselves as goal scorers. It's, yes. you know, and then when the goals don't come, it's like, oh, man, i got to start doing something. 100%. And it's a natural reaction from those young guys. Um, in top-type teams, those type of players aren't leaned on. I think they feel they have to do it for us to be a good team. And that's certainly understandable, and there might be some truth to that. Uh, but it's our job to reel them in, um, look at the big picture, manage their game, and it's just it's, it's been the same forever. If you do the right things, the things they're trying to press or poach for is going to happen for them. Derek, what do you think uh, Comp's game is at right now? I, it's probably a little rust there from missing camp. And I think he's also a little bit in the pressing situation like that. But good. I mean, he's he's competitive. He's hard to play against. Um, plays in every situation for us and is extremely productive in every situation. So uh, I like where his game's at. Um, do you see a little frustration in him in that he probably wants a little bit more? Maybe, but that's why he's the special player, competitive player he is. Is Oscar going to travel with you guys or? Yeah, I don't know that. We just, uh, when he had left last night, it was maybe a practice or not. Then obviously he was going to be able to go for practice. I haven't talked to Pete from there. So if he's not, would you, you had talked about wanting to get Jordan in. Would you I don't know that. that. Yeah, that'd be a Steve question. Um, 
you know, probably not needing anyone was something on the fly. Uh, we roll in to a town and someone's sick or someone takes a puck in warm-ups. Uh, but now we have a player that we have a heads-up that might not be available. We would probably look at maybe bringing someone up. So you wouldn't put Jordan? Uh, I don't know yet. That would be a, let's see if we get the body and then go from there. Yeah, I just think trying to get a little more on some different lines. Uh, we feel with Suter, we have five guys that can play center, and we trust there. So if we think one of those wings can maybe spark a line, uh, we tried it last night with Cop, up with Larkin and uh, Raymond. So we'll look at different things. You know, we think we have five guys. If some of those guys can <clears throat> give a spark on a wing, we'll look at that also. It's very difficult, and um, but it's all part of it. I'm not worried about where Lucas Raymond's going to be the next four to five games. You know, of course I am. We have a better chance of winning if he's a really good player next four to five. I'm worried about where he's going to be in two months from now, uh, in two years from now, and this is part of the process, reeling him in to play the right way. And again, it's tough. Other teams a little deeper, maybe a little more established. Um, top players ahead of them, it, it, you could kind of take your time with it. But, you know, right now Lucas is a first line type player for us. Um, so we're kind of developing on the fly and it's not easy to do. Um, so well, that's that's where we're at with them. As a coach, there's a variety of methods you can use to try to get players to respond. For you, is that approach more positive reinforcement? Is that more put on the gas? What does that mean? Probably a little bit of both. Uh, you hope to be able to manage in the right way. Uh, had some hard conversations with a lot of different guys this morning, um, but that's all. That's all part of it. I don't know if you can con continue to beat on them a lot in those ways. I think you have to have a little mixture of both, and that's kind of where we're at with it. It's different, but not again. I look back, you know, very thankful I had those seven years as a head coach. Uh, but it's also leaning on our other guys. Uh, if I'm going to have a really hard conversation today, if I'm going to, some of our players are going to show up in the team meeting and video in a hard way, you know, sometimes that's a good heads up from the assistant. Now it's a one on one meeting, some video. You know, don't be surprised when you see this in the team meeting. Take it constructively the right way. Uh, so, you know, there's that's just all part of managing. Hey, Derek, I've got going back to the Bruins for a quick second. I mean, is it something in the culture there? I mean, let's face it, there was some talk that maybe this could be a year back, you know, a little bit of a slip yeah. back, but they didn't get the memo, I guess. Well, I, there's something in the culture, but that's that's a really, I mean, Felino's on the fourth line. Like, they're heavy, they're deep. Bergeron is, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's an absolute superstar. So when you're really a good team, bordering on a great team with great culture, yeah, they didn't get the memo. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. That's a really, that's a special team. Um, so um, they're just, they're good, they're deep, uh, and they play the right way. Um, so and that's, that's, a, that's where we're trying to get um, with this organization. Do you think you try washing the sweater? <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start on washing the sweater, so that sweater will be back. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.